Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. Uh, I haven't done a video for about a month now. I had to build a, a fence so uh, I had to take a little break from this. Um, yeah, so this video is going to be about 3D printing. Um, bits and pieces, brackets, bits of fairing and I'll show you, I'll show you what, I'm, what I'm at there. Um, I got a question there about the 3D printing so I said might as well cover that. I kind of brushed through it last time. Um, and and I'll tell you I'll tell you why I'm doing it. Um, so okay, so here's the seat. I had to make up this little bracket to kind of to keep the seat steady. Now there is two brackets that bolt on. I put in a third one at the at the end and one at the front that kind of clips in. Um, but I just wanted one that kind of is almost like a like a pivot point where you just click in. Um, and as you can see, I had to add on a, an extra bar. Now I know most people are probably thinking, Jesus massive uh, massive tray um, it is a big tray um, but it doesn't really matter because you won't see it um, and plus I've loads of space I've loads of room to put all this stuff um, you know I'm not just gonna throw it into a, a, a tray and close up the seat and, and just forget about it because things are gonna be flying around the place and as you can see you've got the, the fuel pump um, you've got the solenoid for the starter you've got an indicator relay You've got this uh, diode, um, obviously the battery, um, and the last last thing that I actually wanted, because the battery is is deep in, kind of under the tank, I won't be able to get to it. So I wanted to wire out one of these little ports. Um, so as you can see, I've I drilled it there. I, apologies. Um, I drilled it there, and it goes in. Uh, and again, that will be well hidden. You won't actually see that. Uh, I've I've primed this again because it got it got a bit scratched while I was. Um, while he's doing bits and pieces. Now I also, I also had the battery. Oh, sorry, the the mount for as you can see there, um, for the reg, um, connectors, all that kind of stuff. And um, so there's a lot of stuff that goes onto this tray. Also the my exhaust, my exhaust mount is there, um, bolts on. Now these these little holes here um, are for my cables. Do I have a cable here? No, but I got little clips to hold the cable in nicely, so it's kind of it's going to be nice and tidy. I kind of want a, a a nice finish on this. I just don't want to throw everything in. Um, so yeah, so I will I will show you about the three D printing, uh, but I just wanted to kind of put a bit of um, background on all of this. I have also bought a new project. Um, for my next project, I managed to grab it, get a two stroker. I'll show you. I'll give you a clue of what I bought. Ta-da! Yeah, so she's waiting there. Um, it's kind of similar enough to the bras. It's it's in bits. Um, so yeah, so I'll I'll get onto that next after this project because I've loads of little things, but nothing big now left on this bike. Um, so I'll show you things that I'm gonna 3D print. Um, this will bolt on. That's fine. I found a home for it. Um, this um, starter um, solenoid. So that kind of has two prongs that go out. So what I'll do is I'll get something 3D printed for that. Um, so I can bolt on here to the side. Um, what else? Uh, something to hold on again. Something similar to hold on the, the relays. Um, kind of everything has a home. Also, I will fuse this. Um, don't just wire this without fusing it. Um, you will end up uh, um, sooner or later some water or something will get in. It will anyway, cause a fire. So I, I would fuse anything like that, I would fuse. I'm also going to have to extend the length of this cable. So I've got new cables um, and I'm just going to put on a, um, a new lug on, on top of it. So I'll make it whatever length. And also because the tray is slightly different to the way it was originally done, my, my negative will also have to be longer. So I will do that as well. Um, but anyway, this video is not about that. It's about 3D printing. So let me just clear all this off. And um, and I'll show you what I do um, about this 3D printing. Okay, so for those who are concerned about this massive tray that I've been made, um, I had a plan for it. So it does follow this line here. So the, the tray is actually just a little bit south of that. Um, so here's my little fairing that I made for myself. Um, as you can see, 
that's the idea of it is to close in that gap now I still have to take a little edge off it so it, it gets a little bit tighter in there um, now arguably I could have bent a bit of metal um, and did this the same thing um, but I just, I'm just just trying out something something different something that I'm not used to um, to see how it works out now with the with the clocks I have to take a, about a mil off the off the front of it now this is super strong stuff lovely and flexible um, so once I take that mill off it, it'll be perfectly straight and I'll be able to either wrap it um, or what I'll do is I'll just paint it. I'll prime it and I'll paint it and I'll use plastic primer because uh, that's what this is, it's just plastic. Um, but it's going to be quite durable anyway. So um, yeah, so that's the idea. Um, so look, let's take the orbital sander, let's take a, a little edge off this um, and yeah, right, let's get finished. So I'm just going to put it at an edge so it doesn't move for me. And I got myself a piece of yoga mat. Um, my wife will be very impressed the fact that I chopped up her yoga mat. So, um, But it, it does the job. Otherwise it, it goes all over the place and it's hard to keep it. It's already getting flatter, much flatter, uh, and quite smooth. Um, now just for that little lip, it's the only thing that's concerning me. But I'll take that off now. Um, I might even take a blade and just take a. Cause it's, it's, yeah. Anyway, I'll keep going with this, and uh, I'll show you that it's flat. But that's really sure what I'm doing. I'm just, um, I'm sanding it. As you can see, this, it's, it's like it printed it a certain amount, and then it, it jumped by a mil. Um, now that's fine on the back, it doesn't really matter, but uh, on the front it's it's obviously a problem, so I'll take that, that little edge off. So anyway, I'll keep going, I might put a bit of tape on that so it doesn't move for me. Um, and yeah, 10 minutes and I'll be done. Okay, so I'm getting a bit impatient because the, the highest sanding block that I, or the highest sanding pad that I have there is, what is it, I don't know, 320 or something like that. So I'm just going to take the edge off with the Dremel and then flatten it with the other one. Okay, that's pretty close. Just go back over with the pad again. So I'm more or less done, as you can see there's no, no big ridge there. Uh, now, on a paint job any kind of imperfection will show up. So I do have to get this a little bit more, but not much more. Um, so I'm nearly there. Uh, as you can see, the, well, whatever, whatever happened in the print, it actually shifted left. So as you can see there's a little, so and here as well, you can see there's a little shift. So this one is a little bit to the, to the to the right, and this one is a little bit to the left. So um, there's a little shift that happened. Whatever happened in the print, and you can actually see that there. So just to just to get that right, I'm just going to file it off. So there's a nice smooth transition. Again, it's kind of detailed, but you want. You won't really see this. No. Okay, so I'm more or less finished. As you can see, I've taken out those that ridge there, that 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 big ridge that you had it, and um, same here. Um, there's a little ridge. Now to get this uh, painted, uh, I'm gonna have to shoot it with uh, plastic plastic primer because it's flexible. You don't want this thing to start peeling and breaking afterwards. Um, if you're asking me if this makes sense, as in the machine took 17 hours to print this, um, I spent another maybe 15-20 minutes just getting this prepped. Um, I suppose it is worth it. You know, okay, this is a simple piece. It's just a triangle with a little bit of metal. You know, I could have bent this in about you know 15-20 minutes. I could have bent this, cutting out those holes. Uh, a little bit more tricky. It would have taken me a bit longer. 
Um, I didn't have to have them, I just chose to have them, I suppose. Um, if you wanted some sort of a nice design or, or something unusual that you needed, it's 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 a pretty good way of um, of doing it, the, the 3D print, because it's super hard. Like, this stuff is super flexible. Let me see. Let me try and break one for you, okay? So this is this is one. So let's see. Okay, let's get our pliers. Let's see if I can break this even. Okay, I can break it, but it does take quite a bit of force to actually break this stuff. Um, definitely not by hand. I wasn't able to do it by hand. <coughs> no, not by hand. Pair of pliers, yeah, not by hand. So it's definitely gonna last. It's not gonna. It's not gonna break on you. You know, bit of metal. Yeah, could have been done with a bit of metal. Um, I have to say, I like it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna use this for all of my brackets and uh, just to tidy up that that um, that tray just to make sure everything has a place and stuff like that um, and yeah I'm gonna obviously have to use it for the other side of the, the fairing because I've one either side of this uh, I'm gonna have to do some so, something here just cut it out or make it look nicer because that's that's the point where it bolts on this little bracket um, I have this to stabilize it there's another bracket on the subframe that kind of sit this sits on flat onto um, that way I only have one point where it fixes but it, it'll be okay because it'll have another place to lean on so that's pretty good as well um, so yeah so I, I like it I, I'm definitely going to use it again um, I'm definitely going to use it on all my brackets and stuff like that and um, stuff that doesn't need to be kind of final final finish uh, of any kind but but it's practical um, you know and it's quick like it's you know you just leave the machine at it and it'll uh, it'll print it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with the video, um, a quick kind of a time lapse video of this thing getting printed. Um, yeah, I, I like it. It's pretty good.